Okay, so we are going to start working on creating a GUI for this tool that we've been working on. Um, GUI just stands for Graphical User Interface. So basically what we're going to be doing is creating a window that we can um, control a button, control the script by clicking a button with. Um, later on, we're going to add more functionality with it, but I just want to look at getting a basic layout created so that way we can add to it. So let's look at creating a window, and I'm going to create this as a function. So let's start with that. Um, create window, um, and again, you can name the function whatever you want. I'm just creating it, calling it create window. <clears throat> and the first thing when we create a window that we, you don't need to do this, but it's pretty much always done, um, is to check if there is a window that is named exactly what you're naming it. And if there is, delete it so that we can create a new one. That will prevent you from having a whole bunch of windows of the same thing created one on top of the other. So let's start off by that. I'm going to do if mc for my commands. Window. And I'm going to decide what the window name is going to be. So I'm going to call it AP Dice Window. So we're checking if that exists. So the flag for this is EX. And then we're going to say um, equals true. And then what are we going to do if this window actually exists? We're going to get, um, delete it. So that's going to be MC delete UI. And then we have to give it a name. Um, and I'm misspelling window. There we go. So we're telling it that we are going to delete the window if it does exist. So now that we've deleted it, if it does exist, let's go ahead and create the window. So that's going to be, um, actually, um, we'll create it as a variable. So uh, win dice win equals mc dot, and then the command is window. And then inside of the window, we're going to give it the name, ap dice window. And let's give it a title. So the flag for title is t. And um, I'll just call it AP Dice Window. So what's the difference between the name of the object and the title? So the title is actually going to be like something like on top of this window. Um, it is just what is given to the um, window when it is created that we'll visually see. This is what is actually being used to see or to work with inside of the Python code that we have here. So if we wanted to with this one, instead of writing it kind of like we do with code, we can actually do dice window just so that it's a little bit nicer to see. Um, me, typically, I like to do 
with my initials starting off anyways and write it like code just because if the um, code or if the I know the windows that I've created so um, I know that I'm not going to rename it over itself something else that I've created um, so that way in case somebody else is using my script and they're right, using other people's scripts and things like that I know that it is going to be my script because it's doing AP and it's not going to mess with somebody else's script more than likely. Okay, so after the title, um, we can give it a width and let's say, oops, we give the window a width of 300 and a height. of 200. Okay, um, there's a lot more stuff that we can do with a window, but for now, that's going to work for us. Now, if we want to actually place something in the window, uh, like buttons or fields or um, anything else, we need to give it a layout to put things inside of. Um, one of the simplest layouts that you can do is a column layout. So what that's going to do is just put things one right on top of the other in a row, um, one by one. So let's do that. Let's do layout, And then what are we going to put inside of this column layout? Uh, we're going to put a button that we can press. So MC dot button. Um, so the command that we're running right now is the button command. And let's give it a label. So that's going to be the um, what is actually on the button itself, any text that is in the button. So uh, let's just say roll and die. And then what are we going to do when we roll this button? Um, we're going to want it to control or run all of this, although at this point we don't have it in a function, but that would be a good idea for us to do. So we will do that. Um, so we're going to tell it uh, command. So we, when this button is pressed, we want it to roll a command, and let's call this command uh, BP for button press. So I'm going to cut this and put it on top, and we can do that. Um, button, press. And then inside of here, we're actually going to put um, a variable. The reason for this is that when you push a button, it's actually the act of pushing the button is going to send in an argument to the button press. Um, we don't actually need to use it in any ways, but it needs to be able to receive it somehow. So we're giving it a um, argument that it can use. And yeah, so it's just so that it can actually receive anything. Then we want it to run both of the commands like we did before. Okay, so let's go back to the create window. Um, we're not completely done yet. We need to um, show the window. So by doing this right here, before this point, it's created everything, but it hasn't physically manifested it inside of the um, inside of Maya or displayed it. Well, it's actually it's created it, but it hasn't displayed it. Um, it's just kind of created in the background without really 
the user being able to use it. So um, I have to tell it which window to create, and that's going to be my AP Dice window. And that should be it for my create window. Um, let's go here. And all we have to do now is tell it that we want to run the create window script. And that should work. So let's copy all of this, go back into Maya, run this. And when we run it, we can see that it creates a window here with a button that says roll die. When we click it, it rolls the die and does everything like we did in the window. So this is how we create a simple um, action to create a window that we can control a command with. Um, it's basically the same thing right now as what we did before where we created it on the shelf. Um, but now that we have this started, we can start adding more things to give the user a little bit more functionality, which will make it better than just a button press because we can get user inputs. And we'll look at that in future lessons. See you then.